hopefully it won't peel. Okay, so I'm going to put both batteries like this because if I put them the other way around, they just don't fit. They're like 13 inches long and they're going to come right out to the edge and then I'm not going to have anything to block them from sliding over this way because they're going to be right against the door. So I'm going to put both like this. I have that backing like this one. In the back to keep the batteries from hitting my wall I'm gonna have this piece of poplar down like this screwed in and then I'm gonna have another piece in between the two batteries like that and they're gonna be nice and secure like this all right I'm going to start drilling inside the cabinet I don't know if you can see that but I'm gonna drill through the roof so I can fish uh, the wires from the solar panel to the charge controller. First thing I'm going to do is use a smaller drill bit, just a little bigger than the wire itself. And then on the roof itself, on the outside, I'll have to uh, use a, a bigger drill bit. Making a mess here, which I'm gonna to have to clean up. Oh, I got the hole. I can see daylight. <sighs> now I hope I drilled in the right place. <laughs> All right, we're gonna look at it together. I hope it's in the right place. Okay. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Yeah, I thought it was going to be closer to this side here, but it's right here. It's not bad. Cool. <clears throat> Alright, now that I have these two pilot holes drilled, they're slightly larger than the cable diameter so that the cable can fit all the way through the wood. But I got to make this hole a little bigger, okay? And it's going to be just big enough to put these um, rubber grommets uh, in there, okay? So I got to make the hole big enough for these grommets to fit right on that groove there. All right, <clears throat> that's going to fit right on the roof of the van, right on the metal <clears throat> and I'm going to put one in each hole and my wire will go through that little hole there and then I'll put decor around it and seal the whole thing up So the panel is kind of in a way.
I'm not pushing it in at all. I'm just letting the drill bit do the work because if I push it in, it's going to jam. So. This one went a lot easier than the first one. I'm going to use my magnet to pick up as much of this stuff as I can. This thing works pretty good. Better than nothing, I guess. You may ask, how do I know this is the right size for these grommets? I mean the hole. Well, I tested it on a piece of aluminum. I drilled different holes until until I got to the hole that these things fit perfectly. That's how I found that. There we go. Oh, these all line up. Nice. I'm going to use a big washer and a lock washer. And I'm going to use a lock nut. I'm going to use these rubber washers in between the solar panel and this aluminum frame that I made to give it a little bit of a cushion.
Oof, a lot of work here. So as I'm tightening up these bolts and the other bolts for the solar panel, well, these are for the solar panel, the bolts that go in here, in here. I'm looking at my vents there and it just occurred to me that now with a solar panel over them, it's going to be a nightmare to reseal those things or if the lid breaks or something happens and I have to take those screws out right there covered with the decor. If I have to take those out, this side's easy and the other side's going to be a pain. And then to seal all the way around. Whew. I just started looking at that and thinking about it. It's going to be one huge nightmare. I may have to remove, unbolt the solar panel and then lift one side at a time and do that. I guess we'll cross that bridge when the time comes, right? All right, you see that? Very little bending on that solar panel now. Very little. It's almost perfectly straight. I had a feeling that as soon as I tighten up all the sides that the, that the panel would, would straighten up and that's what it did pretty much. I have what do I have? The solar panel onto this um, uh, piece of aluminum that I bought extra. From here into this I have six bolts on either side and I have five bolts screwing, screw, uh, bolting in the uh, aluminum piece to the roof rack because I have one two, three, four, five uh, of these um, crossbars. So I have five bolts screwed into the roof rack and then the solar panel itself has six bolts on each side screwed into this aluminum L, I forget what it's called. I can't think when I need to uh, say something, so. But that's how it looks. It's it's taking me hours to do this because I had to go to Home Depot a couple times. I went there earlier and I bought some nuts and washers and stuff and I forgot the bolts. When I went to uh, bolt down the solar panel, I realized I didn't have enough bolts. So I had to go back. <laughs> But I really needed to finish this up so I can drive the van to work tomorrow. And it seems pretty secure. And now up here in the front, I'm going to get a Vantac. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Vantac. <laughs> uh, but this, is, uh, this is not a roof rack. This is a, um, it's a, what do you call it? A wind spoiler, a wind deflector type of thing. It's 63, they have them in different sizes, and the biggest one is 63, 63 inches, and it's exactly from here to that end, about 63 inches. So I'm going to put it right in front of this, deflecting the wind from this. But I hope this, this is pretty secure, I mean, it feels like it's pretty secure, all the bolts that I put in there. So we'll see what happens.